Hey guys, I'm back with another video. This is again from BoundingIntheComics.com. This was on a couple days ago, but I happened to, to just run across it here earlier. And the article is that Kevin Feige claims Marvel Studios does indeed have rules for the multiverse despite Loki in Avengers Endgame endings and contradictions. I guess Feige was on the D23 Inside Disney podcast where he talked about this kind of stuff. And number one, I, I don't like the multiverse type stuff. It, I think that's bullshit. I think it's a cheesy way for them to try to get around, okay, well, you know, like, for instance, you know, in Endgame, Tony Stark died at the end. I mean, I imagine, you know, spoilers, I guess, although I'm sure that most people know that by now. But anyway, but it's like it'd be a way to, oh, well, that, that was the Tony from Earth 1. Well, Earth 3 Tony is here to help. And he's going to, you know, become a super genius and he's going to, I mean, just like, like Tony Stark's always been a genius, but they definitely had it where he would make these tremendous strides from movie to movie that you're like, damn, dude. But, okay, whatever. I mean, you, you kind of go with it. You kind of roll with it. Because a lot of these movies, just in general, you almost got to turn your brain off. The problem is, it's when they have things happen that just are so over the top in terms of this stuff. That you just, even with your brain turned off, it still bothers you. You know, like when they had the whole thing with the in the Loki show, the TVA... Where, okay, well, everything was predetermined and stuff. And, then, and of course, that, they ended up kind of retconning, or, you know. Basically, I, I don't, I guess, I'll go into spoilers about it. I don't know if you've seen the show or not, but basically, that's all a bunch of crap and stuff. There are multiple timelines and stuff, and they had a whole bunch of different Lokis. And I, I don't really recommend the show myself because, it, number one, it was boring as hell. Like, it, especially the first, like, three episodes, maybe. Maybe it was the first four. We're just so freaking boring. And when they just kept going over the same stuff over and over again. It's like, Jesus. Like, Tom Hiddleston and Owen Wilson are sitting around the table talking most of the time. But then also, if you're a fan of Tom Hiddleston and you like Loki, well, sorry, because he, he gets his ass punked out all over the place. And his female doppelganger, his female version of Loki or whatever, Sylvie, she's, you know, basically, she's awesome at everything. And, and Loki sucks. He can't do anything. But anyway, but like, anyway, like I said, my problem with the multiverse is just the whole, it's a way to cheapen death. Okay. You know, it's the same way like, like with Loki and Endgame, he, he, he died at the beginning of Infinity War. So he couldn't really be brought back by the snap and stuff. Cause you know, that was to bring back the half the universe's population that Thanos had snapped away. Well, Loki wasn't included in that. Okay. So they did the time travel thing to kind of take care of that. Well, Loki's, he's still around, hey, you know, and it's like, that's my biggest problem with time travel and the multiverse and stuff, is it's fucking stupid. They always use it as a cheap way to try to, you know, view, viewer manipulation, basically. Well, hey, don't worry, he dies, but it's kind of like how in the comics, a character will die, and they'll come back a short time later. Oftentimes with no explanation. And it's like, dude, that's, that's one of the worst things about comic books. That's fucking stupid. I hate it. And no one I know likes that shit. You know, it's 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 ridiculous. And you kill a character off just to bring them back later, it cheapens the deaths. To where they mean nothing now. Like like to the point now where if, you know, Marvel or hell, even DC for that point says, Well this character's gonna die. You're like, okay, well the, how long until they're back? Was it gonna be a couple issues? Half a year, maybe, at most. They're not going to be gone for long, and you know it. It's just dumb. Anyway, uh, you know, Feige talks some more about, well, we got people, who, you know, the showrunner for this show, and the one for this, and we got all these people that they, they talk to and keep it, try to keep everything connected. You know, he's talking about, that they, you know, they got rules for the overall stuff, and it's like, uh, I don't think so, buddy. I mean, I'm sure that they want to do it that way, but you know what's going to happen. There's going to be a bunch of bullshit where, okay, we got, you know, I don't think these the next upcoming slate of the Marvel movies are going to do as successful. Because, and some of it is the whole MCU thing, where they're, just, they're wanting to replace all the, all the white men with women, and, you know, POC and stuff. And 
that I don't because a lot of that depends on who they get to play the roles. You know, if you got a bunch of charismatic actors and stuff, I don't think it would be that bad. But then, of course, the writing is also going to be, you know, women strong and all that kind of shit and stuff. And I was like, man. But, you know, you're also talking about they're, the people they're getting for these roles, they're just not as charismatic. Now, I'm not sitting there saying that they have to be because, you know, Robert Downey Jr. I mean, that, that guy basically was Tony Stark, you know. I mean, you can't imagine him as anyone else. You know, they still have Chris Hemsworth, although for how long, we don't know. But Chris Evans is gone. You know, uh, hell, even ScarJo, you know, Scarlett Johansson, she's gone. They did her, they did this Black Widow movie, but who knows what's going to happen. Is they going to do any more, you know, time travel shenanigans to bring her back? I highly doubt it, but, you know, again, because they, they probably don't want to pay her that much. But it's like... They're probably going to, you know, get rid of Jeremy Renner with the Hawkeye series that's coming to Disney+. Plus. Well, you, you know, you've got th these people and all these people and you're like, we're, we're just getting rid of all of them. And then we're bringing in new people who, number one, they don't have the charisma. But number two, they also say off-putting things, you know. And it's just, so I don't think the MCU is going to be making as, many, as much money. Because the movie, you know, like Captain Marvel... And they got to put her with other, you know, Captain Marvels or whatever, you know, other Marvels, I guess I should say. Because, you know, Brie Larson just isn't as charismatic. She's not able to pull it off. You know, she, she comes across like, like an ice queen or something. You know, but anyway. So, by, they have all these ideas and stuff, but, but you know what's going to happen is they're going to start being like, oh shit, we got to bring these 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 characters back. We gotta we gotta figure stuff out. Just like how there was already rumors that they're gonna that they're wanting to bring Robert Downey Jr. back for something. Although he he might just be the AI for the Ironheart character. I don't know. But you know, or that they, they want to bring Chris Evans back and this and that and stuff. It's like yeah, because they got charisma. They're good at their roles. You know, it's like you can't just get somebody just because. Of, of, oh, their skin color or gender or whatever, and expect them to, to be as liked and as, you know, as, as successful in their roles. Anyway, uh, so I, I guess I'm veering off point, but ultimately not, because, you know, we're talking about problems with the multiverse. I, I think that they will use the multiverse to bring, you know, bring characters back. But, you know, I, like I said before, I don't, I don't want to rant, because this video is already getting pretty long. I hate the multiverse. I hate time travel. You know, and, and here you're talking about, oh, we've, we've had a meeting this morning with the whole broad Marvel Studios team going through the multiverse and the rules, or, or the rules of the multiverse. And exactly how to deliver, or, oops, or how, to, how to really deliver on the excitement surrounding the multiverse. It's like, dude, I'm not excited for the multiverse. I don't know about anybody else. I'm sure some people are like, oh, hell yeah, I want to see Tobey Maguire as Spider-Man again. Or Andrew Garfield or whatever. Alfred Molina, you know, is Doc Ock again, and maybe Willem Dafoe is, is the Green Goblin, or who, whoever the hell else, you know, but ultimately it comes down to, is it actually going to make sense, is it, are they going to be good movies, are they going to build to it, I don't have as much faith in Marvel anymore, you know, they've, they've pissed away a lot of their faith, but anyway, whatever, I'll go ahead and wrap this up, because this video is getting really long, uh, thank you very much for watching, and have a good one.